The fact Forrest is already dreaming with impending greatness. Your hero is approaching. When the dust has settled, this very soil will be primed and ready to act as your gateway to another dimension. Full of wizards, witches and wildlings. You can already see the very fabric of reality twisting and turning to allow the force of fiction to emerge. Look, a witch is but one swish and flick away from taking the stage. Let's see who she is. She's not a fan of lords unless they're little. But don't mistake her for someone weak and brittle. She can be strong like a rancor and wild like a tempest. She's capable of eating a Mandalorian for breakfast. Her acting power goes deeper than wells. And her presence will radiate as bright as her spells. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Natalia Taylor. <laughs> Thank you, Nat. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is your opportunity to ask all the questions you always wanted to ask to Nat, but were too afraid. There are two microphones. Just speak out calmly, don't be nervous, directly in the microphone. Take it away. Hi. Hello. My question for you is if you could be any Harry Potter character, who would you choose to be? Um, I. I really love um, Pro Pro Professor Trelawney, Emma Thompson's character. I think um, she's the best teacher. I'd just love to have, you know, be taught by her. That one, definitely. Thank you. No problem. <laughs> Hi. 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 Um, I'm a huge fan. <laughs> and my question is uh, rather uh, special. Um, I read the books too. And in the last book, in the very last pages, in the epilogue, there was written that uh, Thomas actually had a baby boy. Yes, Teddy. Yes. <laughs> and Teddy uh, wasn't really mentioned in the movies, I guess. Well, actually, so so um, what happened? I, I was at the premiere, yeah. and uh, I, uh, this this young kid came up to me. He's like, I, "I'm your son," and I was like, "What?" <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> But, but he was like, no, no, I was meant to be in the movie. <gasps> and, and you know the bit at the end when they had the train? Yeah. Like, with all the, you know, it's at the ending. Yeah. Like, they, they had a shot of him getting on. Oh. And I think he had, like, cool hair, or, but they cut it out, they, they had to edit stuff. And he was so upset, I think it was maybe his first acting job. Oh. Can you imagine how excited he would have been? It's like, no, you're out. You know? My question was actually, um, so would you... Would you have preferred it if they put it in the movie? And I would have loved that, you know. And I think it would have been quite fun for her to like, especially when um, there's a bit with Harry and when there's eight Harrys. Yes. I would have loved to like been pregnant on a broomstick. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. so you get a bit of that. Yeah. So actually, I have one little more question. Yeah. Um, wait, let me find it. <laughs> Um, yeah, if you uh, were to design your own outfits for Tonks, how did it look? Oh, <laughs> I actually really like what they did. I really like that she had like a hoodie and then this kind of jacket over her. Yeah, there was an element of like I'm comfortable, but I'm trying to make it look a bit cool. Um, so I, I, I loved her broom as well. I think I would have done what they did. Okay, um, there was. I remember there was one point I, that I was like, oh, I hope they had the hair like that. Um, it was a brighter purple, and it was a short wig, with like bits of like, I don't know, it was like a really punky hairdo, and I was yeah. really hoping that they'd give me that, but they changed it last year. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. And also in the book, she has pink hair. Yes. But they, they didn't want me to be pink, because that's like umbrage. Mm. She was a new character, like, we don't want you associated with her. <laughs> just, just, just pick another colour, so yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hi. Uh, I'm Joy. Hi, Joy. And um, I asked Matthew Lewis a few years ago this question too, but I wanted to ask it to you yes. too. If you had a time turner, which scene or, or part of the movie would you want to do again? Because you can feel like you can... Right, I, I, well, <laughs> all of them, because I think I can do better. Yes. You know, you watch question, it. Like, what can you, will you do it better or would you do, just change it? I think I'd try and do what I did, but maybe like, you know, but I can't remember honestly what I did anymore because I haven't watched those movies. Like, I, I watched it, I've watched all of them once at the premiere. 
you know, and I, I can't really remember what I did. I find it a bit uh, scary to watch myself. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Love your hair. Hello. Uh, hi. Um, my question was if there was any character, not just Harry Potter, just any at all, which one would you like to play? Uh, well, I'd love to play a queen. Why not? <laughs> Like, uh, there's, a, there's a very famous Spanish queen called Juana la Loca, which means uh, Juana the Crazy. And she wasn't actually crazy, and her father, Ferdinand, like, so they were the Catholic kings and they unified Spain, and her father made her out to be crazy and locked her up in a tower so he could become king. And then he married, like, some 12-year-old French princess and to try and have a baby. But I, her story I find quite fascinating. Um, so, uh, Thank you so much. I was wondering, so your character wasn't in the first four Harry Potter movies, so I was wondering, did you ever wish to be in those four movies as well? But afterwards, yes. Like, but I, I wasn't into Harry Potter until I got into it, like, until I got the job. I thought it was like a kid's film, so I was like, it, it wasn't part of my universe. But then when I, um, when I, when I was in it, I, I mean, I'd love to be like a centaur. You know, that would be quite cool. Um, I'd like to be a mermaid as well. I would have loved to have done it, yeah. Okay, thank you. Hi. Hi. Um, in Harry Potter, is there a scene that you shot that you loved but didn't make it in movies? Um, no, not that I can remember. Pretty much everything you see, I think, is in there. Maybe, I don't know, maybe you can help me. You know that the last Harry Potter, um, when I'm with my husband, do we talk in the battle? Okay, so that, that, that bit, that bit was missing. We had a whole scene, it was my last scene I ever did actually on Harry Potter. Um, and it was my last day, but they didn't know it was my last day. Because usually when it's your last day, it's like, yay, thank you, it's a wrap. And no one knew it was my last day, I didn't either. And they were like, oh sorry, like a, a month later, they were like, yeah, you're done. Um, so that was really sad because it, there was a really beautiful little moment between us, so that would have been nice. I have another one. Yes. Um, how did you experience the effect the Harry Potter movies had on fans? On fans? Uh, I mean, what is it individually? Like how it, how, how it affected them reading this book, you mean? But how did you experience, how do you see it in the fans? That um, I don't know. I mean, sometimes I feel like some fans but I, one of my really good friends, she was deeply affected by the Harry Potter books and when she was told that she could never speak again, that's when she started reading them and they saved her, like they, they helped her, it was like therapy. So I think the books and the movies are incredibly powerful, they can, you know, the books are about child abuse. I mean, if you think about it, like Harry's put in a cupboard um, and I think bringing up those topics of abuse and death and that, you know, your family doesn't have to be your blood family, it could be your friends. I think it's, it's I think it's helped a lot of people. I think. Thank you. Uh, um, oh, hello again. <laughs> what is your favorite uh, Disney movie? Yeah, sorry? Um, favorite uh, Disney movie? Yeah. My favorite movie ever? Disney. Disney movie. Disney? Oh. oh. I love Disney so much. Um, okay. I love, I love The Little Mermaid because of the songs. Under the Sea is like, <laughs> I put it on at parties, like I'm not even now, I'm 37. And I, yeah. But actually the thing is, I love it, but now when I, when I watch it, there's actually a lot of patriarchal messages there. Like I think Disney movies are changing now and they're, they're becoming, actually the messages are becoming much better. Um, I love Brave, have you guys seen Brave? Yeah. Yes. I love that one. Thank you so much. Hi. So I'm a really big fan of you, and uh, my question is for someone who is just starting to act. What is your big tip? <laughs> okay. So if you are um, not a white man, um, quite general, if you're an actor you, uh, or anyone that's self-employed, you should have a plan B. Have a plan B. Do like study something you love. I'm also a musician. I wanted to do. Uh, I wanted to do psychology. Like have another thing that's going to give you money, um, because it's it's hard. And also, if you have another passion and you have another drive, when you do auditions, 
they, I feel like casting people and agents, they can smell desperation. A bit like when you go on a date, you know what I mean? It's like you can, and it's like, if you've got other stuff going on in your life, like something about that kind of makes you more attractive. It's really weird. Like I usually get jobs when I'm on another job. And at the moment when you're unemployed, it's very hard to get back into it. Does that make sense? Yeah. Also, Thank join you. a union. Join a union, get a pension plan. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hello. Hello. Um, we're big fans of your. You look amazing. Yeah. Uh, thank you. <laughs> um, she has a question after me. Oh. My question is, which of the Harry Potter co-workers do you have the best bond with? Uh, so I, I, I got on really, really, really well with my uh, husband, David Thewlis. Professor Lupin, obviously. He, he, he was the one that I did the most stuff with. You know, like, and also. Um, the twins, I love the twins. I've done a lot of conventions with them, and I've done a podcast with them as well. And I think they're they're wonderful. They're really really lovely people. I, that's why I love also doing conventions because you kind of get to meet cast members. Because you know when you're an actor, or so any self employed job, your job keeps taking you to different places. It's very hard to keep in contact with people. You know, they say that you kind of keep in contact with like one actor per job or one person from a job. You know. Um, so yeah, it's hard to, to, to connect, but on conventions you do it. Um, so my question is, what is your favorite movie of all time? Yeah, that is really hard. Uh, someone asked me that recently, and I, I said Sound of Music. I do love the Sound of Music, I'm sorry. I think it's amazing, it's got nuns, it's got Nazis, it's got some great musical messages, seriously. Like, I mean, but, um, but uh, I'm trying to think of the films I've seen the most. I think the films I've seen the most on repeat are Sound of Music, Fight Club. I've seen Life is Beautiful quite a few times. Oh, God. Uh, I also really like 300. I mean, it's not one of my favourites, but I've watched that quite a lot because it's got lots of sexy naked men and it's a good story. Thank you very much. Hello. Hi. Um, what's your. Uh, Prioritized achievement in your life. It doesn't necessarily have to have wow. anything to do with acting. Just in your life in general. Prioritized achievement of your life. I feel like that's like an emotional psychological question. Jesus, uh, <laughs> that's a good one. Um, I think I think I'm really proud of being with my partner that I love deeply for 14 years. Like, I just don't really understand. Like, I just feel really lucky, and um, I'm I kind of, I'm proud of both of us. Maybe that? That's beautiful, thank <laughs> you. Hello. Hi. Um, my question is, you were in Harry Potter, Game of Thrones, and Star Wars, those are massive productions. Which one, um, when you came on set, did you really have the feeling like, oh my god, this is overwhelming? Because those are three really big things. Yeah. Well, I think Game of Thrones I didn't, not because I, not because I didn't feel it, but because when we started it, it wasn't a big thing. I was at the beginning. So it was just a really cool show, I loved the books, but it didn't... I, I was a bit taken aback by Harry Potter because just the studios, I just got lost in them. They were so big. But again, I didn't really realize they were big, uh, that Harry Potter was big, until I went to my first premiere and I was like, oh my god, like everyone shouting and photographers, and I was like, fuck. Um, but when I did Mandalorian, that, that was pretty special. I mean, I think also because I, I, I had such a transformative thing, and also when we filmed it, it was a room that was big, and they've got a new way of doing green screen now, which is like tiny little, um, Oh, it's a video game thing that they, they've developed and taken from video games into film and it's like all these little pixelated things so you walk into a room and it feels like you are in a spaceship like it looks like it and, and when the camera moves the, the images like move like you know kind of adapt it's amazing I was like this is magic this is actually magic yeah so okay. thank you <laughs> hi oh, hello again hello uh, I only know you as uh, Limpadora in Harry Potter <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I have a big question for you. Um, what was your, what was your reaction to play with Harry Potter the boy who lived? Were you getting excited, or how does it feel like? Wait, wait, I'll say that again. Sorry, uh, the boy who lived. Um, you, uh, I only know you as the yeah, yeah, yeah. Harry Potter. 
Um, how does it feel like to work with Harry Potter? Oh, with Danny, Danny Radcliffe. Were you going to be excited or...? I just thought he was a lovely kid. He had like a nice time, you know? Again, like I, when I met him, I, I wasn't, I didn't really, I wasn't in the world of Harry Potter, so for me it was just a lovely person to work with, you know? Okay. And then by the time I got to know him, you know, and I knew the film, we already had a relationship, you know, as, as colleagues. Uh, okay, thank you. Thank you. Hello! Hi! Hi! This is Nina and... Hi Nina! She's a bit nervous. Don't worry, it's okay. Um, she uh, is a huge Harry Potter fan yeah. and she wants to know how it feels like to be in such a great movie. Um, well, it feels... I think it's pretty magical because I've heard so many different stories of people that the books and the films have affected their life and helped them and touched them and I think that's the most magical thing. Also, I always wanted to be a witch. So I was born on the 1st of November and my mum told me that I was left by witches on Halloween. So I believed I was, I was a witch fully until I was about six. So, <laughs> Of course, yes. Hello. What's your favorite movie from Harry Potter? Um, I, uh, because I haven't watched the last ones that much, I would say number four. I love number four with the, with the trials and the dragons and the mermaids and the, yeah, that one. Oh, and you also like to know your favorite Patronius. Okay, so I love otters. I love otters. My boat is called Tipsy Otter. So yeah, I would be an otter or a raccoon. I don't know, they're quite far apart. Hi Natalia, great yeah. to see you here. Yes. Um, I was wondering what was your favorite memory on working on The Mandalorian? Mandalorian. Oh, um, I loved the knife shit. <laughs> but also, it, they had a really quick turnaround. So when I got there, they were like, okay, so there's this fight scene. You need to learn how to like do the move. It was like a dance. I mean, I didn't do any of the flips because I'm not a gymnast. But like the kind of all that bit, and I um, I had two days to learn it. Two days? And, yeah, and I, just the moves to like make. And I found it really. I love it when you when you get given something physically that your character does because it's a really good way of accessing who they are emotionally. So I really, and it was at the beginning as well. So I was like, yes. So that was my favorite. I felt very powerful. <laughs> Yeah, great, thank you. Hi. Hi. Hello. Uh, favorite and least favorite uh, scene in Harry Potter to do? My favorite... Uh, uh, that, you do, that you've done yourself. Yes. I think my favorite was... Um, my, uh, my favorite was being on the broomsticks. Because I loved it, I found that really fun, and it was, you know, it was really high up, and it felt like being on the fairground, and in this massive room, and it was, I'd never done something like that before with a green screen. My least favourite, I think, was the death scene. When they pan over, so me and, me and, um, me and David Thewlis had to lie on the floor, like, all day, and it was, it was winter, and it was freezing, and it's stone, and you had to lie there, and you know, after a while, when you lie on the floor, you, you can't move. Uh, that that was just like it was it was boring and cold that way. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Hi. Uh, first of all, I was wondering if you're cold because of your. Uh... Yes, always. I'm always cold. Always. <laughs> always. 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 And it's a safety place. I love it. I, love it. <laughs> I can imagine. It's like a hug. Um, but my question um, is like you playing Game of Thrones and in Harry Potter, and I was wondering what's the biggest difference between the two um, people you have to play? Uh, the biggest difference? Um, I mean, I would say that um, they're both survivors, but the difference is, is Osha is ruthless. Like, she's a killer, you know. And I think she's probably been quite solitary, like, I feel like Tonks is fun and happy and, you know, she, yes, the other one has a sense of humour, but she's like, she's been damaged in life a lot. I don't think she's been loved a lot, you know, so I think that. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Uh, how are you? I'm good. <laughs> I wanted to know, uh, what's your favourite uh, memory on the set? What, uh, from which one? Uh, all of them. All of them ever, that yeah. I've ever done? Wow. 
so many, I can't even begin to think about that. Uh, I don't have an answer. You, you've got to pick one, like an actual film, because otherwise I'm just like, I can, I'm, I'm just going blank. Uh, on Harry Potter? Oh, uh, yeah, well, uh, that guy. Uh, uh, in Game of Thrones. Um, in Game of Thrones? Yeah. I really liked the day that I did all the skinning of the rabbits. You know what I mean? Elliot skinning, like, all the rabbits, maybe. We're having this kind of aggressive like woman off and and you know our characters don't like each other and i really like that it was it was warm and i kind of my my grandmother in spain would always skin rabbits and like and i felt like her ghost was proud of me <laughs> doing it so that one okay thank you hello hello i'm daphne my sister there Hi. i've already asked you a question uh, like she said, you were in a lot of different things, and I can imagine that with all those fantasy and sci-fi stuff, you also had a lot of green key and special effects. Was there ever a scene that was boring to do, but the result really surprised you? Like, if there was like a scene... Yes, it's, um, um, this is the first one that comes to mind, and it was actually in Harry Potter. Oh, no, yeah. Uh, uh, well, I actually haven't seen what it looks like in, in the other thing that I was going to say, but yeah, in Harry Potter. You know the bit when we were fighting snakes outside the Weasley's house? Yeah. Like, that day was really cold, it was a night shoot, it was, it was a miserable day. And, I mean, it was kind of funny, but I didn't really know what I was doing. Like, me and David were like, oh, fine. Sure, I don't know, this is weird. And it was like five in the morning, we were tired. And then it looked great. <laughs> You know, it really is believable, and I'm like, you know, it's it's amazing how that happens. Thank you. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's all we had time oh. for. Sorry, on schedule. Give it up for Matt. Thank you.